matter that matter uh, uh, a, a member that gets up and talks about the constitutionality of a bill is simply against the bill. There is nobody who has ever voted uh, for a bill, bill or against the bill based on its constitutionality. Again, the headline, though, a major victory in the fight for the vote. Can't t take that away from us this morning. All right. Uh, Representative Eleanor Holmes Norton, thank you so much. My pleasure. Other news this morning, a local soldier has been killed in Afghanistan. The Department of Defense says Captain Brian Bunting of Potomac, Maryland, died when a roadside bomb went off near his vehicle. It happened Tuesday in Kandahar. Three other U.S. soldiers were killed in that blast. Bunting was 29 years old. That grim news comes as President Obama is set to make a major announcement about our military involvement in the Middle East. Mr. Obama has told lawmakers he plans to pull a large number of the 100,000 combat troops out of Iraq by August of 2010. The president's plan would leave behind 35 to 50,000 troops to advise the Iraqi army and protect U.S. interests, but all of those would come home by the end of 2011. The president is expected to announce the new strategy when he visits Camp Lejeune in North Carolina this morning. The president's 2010 budget gives more money to national service and defense, but what does it mean for education, housing, and other issues impacting your family? We're going to take a closer look coming up this half hour. We have been taking calls for weeks now from Pepco customers complaining about their sky-high bills. Now state regulators are starting to ask questions. Maryland's Public Service Commission called on the state's power companies during a hearing yesterday. Now they only heard from the utilities, including Pepco, though. Customers were not allowed to speak, though some of them tell Fox 5 their winter bills are more than double their normal charges. It's not obvious to us why people's bills to double. You can go person by person, case by case, house by house, and maybe explain it, but the number of calls like that just wasn't quite adding up to us. I certainly left feeling like there's not a light at the end of the tunnel that we can expect to see actually continued increase in, um, in our energy bills. The state's Public Service Commission will review what it heard yesterday before deciding whether to take any action. Now, that could take several weeks. So, what is next for this investigation? Coming up in our next half hour, Pepco's Vice President of Customer Care will join us live. First, though, an update on D.C. Councilman Marion Barry. He underwent a kidney transplant one week ago. Find out what's happening later today. And big news breaks overnight involving the Redskins. They have agreed to major deals with two free agents. You can see on the screen the story right on our homepage, myfoxdc.com. We will share the details next. Fox 5 News at 5. Now in HD. The country of Chile, where our vast natural resources permit us to grow healthful, fresh fruit and vegetables, wine, seafood, olive oil, dairy, meat products, and more. From these blessings of nature, we select an abundance of fresh fruit for you. Because right now, it's summer in Chile. Experience the flavors of our harvest, the pride of our country. Fresh fruit from Chile, in season right now at Giant. That was then, but this is now. Empire has a fresh new look for your bathroom and an incredible offer. Right now, save 60% on our quality bath and shower liners. We make remodeling easy. Our liners fit right over your existing tub and walls. And we can install next day. Plus, no payments till 2010. 60% off won't last long. Call today. 800-588-2300-EMPIRE Today. Strayer University. By virtue of authority of the Board of Trustees and the recommendation of the faculty. Has conferred upon Lisa Rain. John Rogers. Daniel Garcia. The degree of Bachelor of Science. Master of Business Administration. Together with all the rights, honors, and privileges thereto pertaining. In witness whereof, this degree is granted. Bearing the seal of Strayer University. We all want a cleaner environment. And we all want to keep costs down. You know what helps us do both? Freight Rail. Because it's so fuel efficient, Freight Rail makes the air cleaner and keeps shipping costs lower. In fact, it's amazing how far Freight Rail can haul one ton of goods using just one gallon of fuel. That's right, 436 miles to the gallon. That's how Freight Rail works. Poor, pure, perfection. 
perfect every cup of coffee with a rich and creamy goodness of Land O'Lakes half and half.